Hello, and thank you for watching The Righteous Kitchen, a cooking and baking blog found at www.therighteouskitchen.blogspot.com. I am going to show you how I make perfectly smooth mashed potatoes every time. So Thanksgiving is coming up and um, usually I will prepare 10 pounds of potatoes, divide that by two, um, freeze them in packages, and then that'll carry me through uh, the Thanksgiving dinner and the Christmas dinner. So today I am just gonna work with five pounds of potatoes and I will get them completely peeled rinse two or three times and then put in a large uh, Dutch oven. But I wanna show you really quick how to peel the potatoes safely uh, so that you don't injure yourself. So I do work on a, a cutting board and then I use, I just uh, use a standard uh, potato peeler. This might be a pampered chef where you can go um, up and down, but it doesn't really matter um, on this one because I'm just going to work in a downward motion and I'm going like right in between my thumb and my other uh, my index finger So just down and then I could flip it over and get the rest of the potato So this is a safer uh, way to do it. And it, and then at the end, if you have another piece to get. And then it, it also keeps all of your scraps from flying everywhere. So just kind of aim right in the middle of your thumb and your index uh, finger area. And then flip it around. It's just a safer way and you have more control of the potato than doing this number. And then the uh, fillings start flying every which way. So. Keep the potato on the board and just turn it and slice it downward. You can come back and get the end, flip it and do the other side. Gives you better control and you're less likely to injure yourself. So there you go. So I will, and I like a clean potato, all the peeling off. So I'll get these all cleaned and then I'll come back and show you how to chop them up. Okay, I'm just finishing up. I'm prepping these potatoes. I've got them peeled and I'm just giving them all a quick chop. So we just slice it in half, give it a couple of uh, more cuts and then chop away. You want to uh, try to make sure you've got them all uniformly the same size. So there you go. And that'll just help them to cook about the same time. Okay, once you get your potatoes chopped, just put them in a colander and rinse them very well. So I'm gonna rinse these off and then put them into this stock pot. You wanna just rinse all the starch off of them and get that oxi oxidation off that happens very quickly. So we got the first set. Want to waste any water and then we will 
rinse these off. And then I'm going to fill it up with drinking water to cover. Uh, it's going to cover the top of those potatoes probably by about an inch. So I'll let that fill and then I'll meet you at the stove. Okay, we are at the stove and we have our pot of potatoes uh, covered with the uh, filtered water. And I am going to stir in two teaspoons of table salt so just stir that in and then what I'm going to do is bring this up to a boil and then I'll kick back the heat from high down to medium high and um, we're going to boil these potatoes till they are fork tender so this will probably about take about 15 minutes or so so we will check back in uh, and I'll show you exactly uh, the doneness of what I'm looking for um, at that pork tender stage. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay, these have been boiling pretty good now. So I want to check them. Let me show you. See how that's just pork tender? just a little bit more and you can really mash it um, with your fork. All right, let me do it again. See how that goes right through? you again right through that is fork tender it just you just put the fork in there and it breaks it right away so I'm going to turn this off and I will take the uh, pot of potatoes to the sink and strain them through the colander Okay, I have that colander right there laying in my sink, and I will get uh, the pot of potatoes over. And we're just gonna carefully pour them right over that colander. I'm very hot right now. Then we could get in there and just kind of shake it a little bit. And what I like to do is I just set that back over the Dutch oven and I'll take that uh, to the chopping board and then we're going to run this through a, a sieve that's part of my kitchen aid attachment so i'll take the cal uh the camera over there to the mixer okay i am back at the mixer and i have an attachment that goes to my kitchen aid mixer it's a colander and sieve attachment so this screen here is the uh, colander and it has this wooden paddle and what it does is it pushes food through those little holes in the colander. 
And what that's gonna do for us is give us perfectly lump-free, smooth um, mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna need to actually plug in my mixer. So let me do that. Nothing's gonna work if that mixer isn't working, is it? All right. So we've got that. Now that colander and sieve attachment is very hard to find. They don't make it anymore. So if you do end up wanting one, your best bet is to check eBay. So there you go. So we'll come back a little bit so you can get a better view of that. All right, so um, we have our potatoes and we're just gonna turn the mixer on. Just a little bit under medium or low. And then we're gonna just spoon our potatoes in and that paddle is gonna push them through the holes of that colander. Now, if you don't have this, what you would use in place would just be a ricer or a food mill. So as the food's going around, I like to take my rubber spatula and just kind of keep everything moving along. And for five pounds of potato, um, every so often, I'll put in um, some butter. I'm gonna use one stick of butter for the five pounds of potato. If it needs any milk or cream, I'll add it at the end in the mixing bowl. But a lot of times I don't even need the cream or the milk because this does such a good job. All right, so this will be a few minutes. I'll just work this until we get all the potatoes uh, run through the sieve. Okay, I have processed five pounds of russet potatoes using the um, attachment to the KitchenAid mixer. And so you see it one more time. It's called the colander and sieve attachment. So you set this on your mixing bowl and then this paddle turns the food around and presses it through these little holes in the colander. All right, so what that is, is like a ricer or a food mill. When the potatoes come through, uh, they're gonna be nice and smooth. So these are really smooth. It's one pound of potatoes and we have one stick of butter. And I am going to adjust my seasonings now. So I am gonna start with a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And then let's do a half a teaspoon of flaked sea salt. And then I wanna put in just a little bit of half and half, but you can use cream or whole milk. And I'm just gonna put in, let's do three tablespoons. And we're just gonna stir everything together. Now I am gonna add another three tablespoons of half and half. And then let me get a bigger spoon to work with. Now these did cool off on me a little bit. I had someone come to the door. And then I went ahead and 
clean the dishes. So when I'm freezing these for make ahead, I just use the butter and the potatoes and then I put them in the food saver bags. Um, and then from then I defrost them and put them in the um, crock pot with the lid askew. So I do it like that. And a lot of times the uh, heat, when they're nice and hot, they don't need any cream at all. So let me taste this. And that does taste good. I'm gonna um, put these in a crock pot and keep them warm till dinner. But lump free, perfect mashed potatoes. All right, so there you have it. Thank you for watching. And please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much. Okay, so here we go. We have the mashed potatoes and this wonderful turkey gravy that was made with that um, turkey stock from the herb uh, roasted turkey. Very good.